Hello, Aku here again. Welcome back to Feed the Beast Unleashed. A uh, couple of things to get on with this episode. I actually want to get on with making raft lamps and routers from factorization. So that's going to be the main focus of the episode. Um, I just want to go over a couple of little things first. I've changed all these blocks now into reinforced stone because I had some spare iron because I've finished all the engines. Hooray! So this is the fourth boiler and it's on the uh, it's still on its warm up. It's up to 6.57. So now you can see the final rate that we're getting here, uh, it's pretty quick, pretty quick. I don't know if that's limited to my power still, I think that would go quicker if I had more power. If you look at these pre-chargers, we're certainly looking to be getting up to about a quarter. So if you set that as, if it could process a full one of these, we'll start filling that up and make this work at its max then I guess each one of these could run four boilers. Now, because if you look in there, it was MJ and it's got EU on it, that means this will work off EU. So a plan that someone recommended, uh, or someone suggested, should I say, is to build nuclear reactors up on top of this, build a nuclear reactor tower. Um, uh, so that's what I think I'm going to do at some point. I uh, don't know when, but I'm going to build nuclear reactors, IC2 nuclear reactors, and they're going to provide extra power to that. Once we... Um, so that'll bring, that'll have like uh, cables coming down. And so they'll be getting power from the boilers and from the IC2 nuclear reactors. That's the idea anyway. Wonderful. I, I've been doing, I've done two B episodes since the last normal episode. Uh, I changed the front of the B's face by the way. I took one line of the bricks off. I think it looks a bit better. Uh, yeah, so I've done two episodes of B's. Um, I've now got nocturnal B's, so these are working at night. So I'm working towards... I'm getting royal jelly so I can and uh, pollen so I can make an alvary. Once we start, start doing that, we'll start making, we'll start breeding bees to get specific resources. I plan to have loads of alvaries with iron, gold, all kind of stuff coming from that, as well as from the laser drill. So at some point we might have to turn the laser drill off. We've got too much resources. The, the resources are coming very nicely. If we look in the chest, uh, some mess of stuff that's. That needs organising, if I'm being honest. Now, the issue I've got is status quartz, for example. If we press you on that, um, come on, come on. Press you on that, we get one quartz, one dust. Whereas if I hit it with my pick, I've got three quartz, four dust. So it means I'm going to have to manually do at least a set of quartz for now until we've got enough. Um, but that goes the same for diamonds, emeralds, all kind of stuff. I get miles more if I manually break it, but it's just so time consuming. And it's as it goes on and gets more and more of that stuff in there, it's only going to get more time consuming. So, um, yeah, not really sure what to do with about that. Uh, at some point, I guess I'll have enough resources that I don't care about doing it fortune wise so that's off nine because uh, I've obviously got fortune three on my uh, hammer there hmm. so yeah there is there is issues I sat I need to start automating this pretty soon and that's the other reason why I want routers because I'm gonna have banks uh, as if you've watched my previous series I didn't really do it so I've got like um, several pulverizers self several furnaces all running off a couple of routers Um tied into my network that way so I'm only looking at that I've got loads of diamonds and emeralds it's ridiculous Um the laser drill really is if you're running on a server basis so you you can leave the server running overnight the laser drill really does um, get you a lot of resources it's kind of awesome so let's look at what I've done with the ME network since last episode chuck all that stuff in there so ME network um, one thing worth note is I made this last time and now this is there's no need for this at all. So this was useful just to get them first few things together, but now we can get rid of that work table because anytime I want to make something I can just put it in here now. So if I want to make storage cell, bam, make it in there. If I want to make processor assemblies, bam, make it in there. I've got no silicon. If I want to make silicon, uh, I need to actually smelt some dust. Uh, I might as well do that. Could do some more silicon. I'll stick that in there for later. Yeah, oh, we've got gold dust, uh, gold stone stuck in there, glowstone. Hmm. Um. Yeah. So 
I've added some more drives. Well, one more drive. And if you look at the things here, so I've got ingots, which you've seen. I've got gems. I've got organic, which has got like um, organic stuff in, obviously. Block no, B products, which has got all my honey and honey, um, honeydew, pollen stuff like that. And then blocks, which has got all my blocks that I've got a few of, but not loads of. This doesn't organise, so it, sort of by priority cell order. Really doesn't organise. I would like it to, which is unfortunate. It used to. Don't know what's changed. It used to actually organise properly, and um, it give you the it give you the things in order. The priorities do work when it comes to sending things to each other. It just doesn't seem to work anymore on the actual display in there. So uh, unless anyone knows what I'm doing wrong, uh, feel free to let me know. So, um, yeah, we've got, so it's, it's a bit messy looking at stuff in there, if I'm being honest. So a little bit messy. Um, so they're all 64 Ks. Sorry, they're all 16 Ks, which will eventually get up to 64 Ks when they get full. And then up on top of here, I've got loads of 1 Ks. And these have only got one item each. So we've got like the, um, a bit of dirt. We've got quite a lot of cobble, 871. This will hold 8,128 of a single item. So these are pre-formatted just to hold a single item. Uh, I've got brick in there as well because I've got a shit ton of bricks. Uh, because I've got a shit ton of clay. So yeah. Uh, that's what's going on there. Then all the other blocks like these. Naga stone. Uh, mossy stone block. They're in that that general blocks one. That's there. So I'm starting to organise. It's kind of nice. I've got two more 16Ks here ready to pre-format. One's going to be for crafted items, I think. One's going to be for components. So, okay, like, uh, I'm going to class... Hmm... Well, classes of crafted or components. That's why I haven't done it yet. I need to decide what's what's a component and what's a crafted item. So... And the 164k I've made is in there. So I've just made these using... by like, building up. So, for a, the 64k, I made 27 of them. Then made them into... Nine of them, made them into three of them, then made them into one of them, and then put it into 64k. So I, I actually made it really quick. The only thing I had to manually do was make um, another stack of them processors, which was pr quite, pretty quick once you get going. So really nice. I can craft stuff really quick now. I don't have to mess around with work tables. This will get quicker, of course, when I get um, actual crafting tables. Uh, sorry, ME crafting. We're out there yet. A couple of things to tell you as well that I've not mentioned. Um, Clear panes, I didn't know about these, because when I searched before, I searched for glass, and there's no glass pane there, because they're not called glass, they're just called clear panes. And they're the same as the clear gas, glass, but the, in the pane version, and because of that they're still connected, so it's kind of got that look back that I liked. Now, I've gone and done this, and as soon as I've done this, we're on a new version, and the new version's got an updated applied in logistics, and it gives us this new kind of glass, Hardened glass. No, it doesn't. Vibrant quartz glass. Now, I've made this into vibrant. I maybe shouldn't have. There's two types of this quartz glass. There we go. There's normal. So quartz glass. Four normal glass with either quartz or nether quartz. So that's quartz or nether quartz dust in there. Gets you the four of these. And then if you combine them with glowstone. It gets you this vibrant quartz glass, and what this does, really awesome. Um, I, I put it in there, and I actually, I, I do, I like the window panes. Uh, see, I've put them over there as well. I've, I've made the mill by clicking them. Uh, moo. Um, and yeah, I've uh, made this glass like it, but I've kept this. As the clear blocks, I kind of like that, but yeah, whereas windows, I kind of personally, I like, I like the way it looks with those uh, frames. So I've I've done that. Um, but this stuff, if you look at this stuff, place it there, and I think the best way to show what the vibrant does is if I turn the uh, F7 on there, you see that the vibrant glass is also a light source. So that is kind of awesome. So I think I'm going to make my soul spawners cages out of all this vibrant glass quartz glass stuff so it won't need lighting or at least place strategic blocks of it i think i've made far too much of it there i made like a stack of it 
I think you could maybe go with one block on each wall, just in amongst other bits of normal quartz glass, to um, like an area. It's kind of cool. So yeah, that's going to be my thing there. Um, something else while I remember, someone on the live stream mentioned EverQuest something, and I went on a bit of a rant about I would like Sony. I didn't realise it was a new MMO. I probably will be looking at it. Um, it's Ever. Sony have announced EverQuest 3, pretty much, I can't remember the name of it, but I had no idea that that's what you were talking about, I apologise for not engaging you more, I just went on a bit of a rant about um, how I dislike Sony because of what they did with Star Wars Galaxies and DCUO and The Matrix Online, so three games that I played and um, Sony fucked up, hmm. so I probably will be having a look at EverQuest, it begins with B, I can't remember the name, EverQuest something, anyway, it's, it's Pretty much at EverQuest 3. It was announced at the SOE convention thing the other day. So uh, yeah, thanks for bringing that to my attention. And uh, sorry, I didn't realise what you were talking about. I thought you meant I thought it was an expansion to EverQuest 2 or something that I'd never played. So yeah, I just wanted to uh, just wanted to clear that up. Um, right then, so let's get on with making some stuff. Now, as I said, today's episode, I want to get a couple of things sorted. I want to get Wrath Lamp sorted. And I want to get routers sorted. So for that, we need a way of making dark iron. Of course, dark iron, we need blocks of dark iron. And for that, we need diamond shards because we need a wrath igniter. So, diamond shards, we need that craft pattern that I always forget. Oh, just, just to remind you of that, I, am, I keep running out of obsidian. So, if we look and look at the farm, just going on a little tangent again, I apologise. If we look at the farm, it's now got oak saplings in. I've done. I've just temporarily put it onto oak because I'm not using the Sakura wood or saplings anyway, and the Sakura wood doesn't work on the minium stone. So what I've done is I've put three more DFUs here and uh, three more diamond pipes, and I've just got the I sent the Sakura saplings to green now, so they go straight into the DFU. Well, they did as it was as it was finishing off, and um, I'm just collecting some some normal wood here so I can get some obsidian because uh, because of the way I'm mining I'm not actually doing any mining down at obsidian level well where lava is should I say so I'm not getting any not getting any obsidian so I'm gonna have to get it from a minium stone because obsidian is using quite a lot of stuff uh, apples not that important but yeah I, I need I want to get a good maybe 8k 8k of oak wood just so I've got a, a a source of normal vanilla wood so that I can um, use that for crafting purposes because as I just said if you look at Sakura um, if you look at Sakura I've not actually got any Sakura logs have I not um, if you make it into sticks it makes it into these sticks that don't work in all recipes uh, if you make it into planks uh, fences I mean it makes it into different coloured fences same with crafting tables and, and they don't work so you kind of do need or I feel you need a uh, you need a source of normal wood as well, so that's what I've gone with. Uh, I think I need some TNT. I thought I'd uh, looted some. I have. I don't think I've got enough though. Um, I need to make a craft packet. And it's that one. There it is. So I need four TNT, a block of diamond, four obsidian. So sand and gunpowder. Can't believe I've got no sand over here. I've got, I must have sand over here. One second of piss. Back in a sec, I'm going to bring a load of sand across from the DSU over there. Will eventually be part of the ME network, all this, but uh, for now, it's a bit manual still. Okay, I've got some sand, and uh, I've got something else to tell you as well that I just realised because uh, I saw them conveyor belts in there. Conveyor belts, nice and easy. Redstone, iron, three bits of rubber. Um, what I've done is, let me just get some gunpowder before I go. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And nine diamonds. Um, this was also a suggestion on the comments and I think it's going to work. Let's have a look. How many cards have we got in there? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's looking good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looking good. What I've done is put a conveyor belt have a side of the baby pen. So the baby's trying to get back in. That's what the issue was. The babies was trying to get back in, getting stuck in. I may need one there as well. So that one's getting stuck in the wall. See him going dark when he's into the wall. That's what was happening. The babies were trying to get back into the adult cow pen. 
getting stuck in the wall, then the window was growing to adults, so it was popping up on that side of the fence. So what the conveyor belt does there is just forcing them to stick in the middle here. You can see them all pushing against it, but they're not getting at that wall. So very good. Thank you for that suggestion. Sorry, I should have checked who it was before I mentioned it. But um, just so you know, thank you very much. So that's a nice easy solution for that, I think. Um, seems to be working all right. Party cows. Love it, don't they? Uh, right. S stick that lever in there, because... Don't really need leather. Um, right. So, TNT. Wonderful. Diamond blocks. Wonderful. Four TNT. Four obsidian. Gets us this craft packet. You've probably seen this before. If you've watched any FTB videos from anyone, or anyone who uses factorization, you'll know how to get dark iron. So... Apologies if this is something that you've seen many times before. Uh, we need a craft packet stamper, so a piston, crafting table. Uh, let's do that then. Piston. Got no wood in there, have I? Um, now this will work with Sakura wood, so uh, I'll stick a bit of wood in there. There we go. Piston, and then a crafting bench that won't work with it, so I will need some normal wood. Spruce will do. So yeah, I've got a couple of issues with benches and stuff not working as, as I'd like them to. Uh, but there we go. Craft packet stamper. And weird that I only ever use this one time for making this. But that gets us 18 diamond shards by putting that craft packet in there. And then I've always... Uh, the only thing I've ever done with that is once I've done it, is I've broken it. Like so. Oh shit. And uh, that's the last thing I'll ever use that for, which is a bit of a shame. Um, so that can go in there for now. These can go in there. I'll format them into my gem sink. Oh, in fact, I want to show you something while I'm doing that. Um, formatting things. So I did all this off camera, didn't I? When you want to put something in there, now, really nice addition. If you shift click, shift left click, whatever you've got down there, it adds it. So you don't have to keep dragging one item in. So you just get all you want in there, shift click that item in format again and now we've added something onto the format in. wonderful so now that goes back and there it will happily sit in there wonderful and um, but I don't need one of them in fact let's use this again I want it to raffignate it so let's ah I have not actually got any of that have I so a bit of nether rack in the furnace mm, glowstone everywhere the last of the glowstone I think so yeah glowstone comes in blocks on the laser drill uh, I prefer storing it as dust I can always make it back into blocks but if I break the blocks manually yeah it's a bit of an issue there we go Lo I'm getting loads of ores it's ridiculous Um, I've, I'd like to I might have to do it in a world sometime next to a quarry just to see how much how one does against you there no put them to separate chests um, the quarry thing I mentioned yesterday by the way someone asked me to link it so I put it in the what was it yesterday or the day before uh, I mentioned Tom's mod pack that is made and it's got a thing called quarry plus it's called the quarry mod and I put a link on that episode to the mod if you want to have a look at it it can actually do quarries that are 256 by 256 the normal biggest quarry is 64 by 64 that's a huge quarry enormous kind of fun um, so there we go, we've got a raffig The next thing to do is to get loads of iron. Have we got some in there? Nope. Get off. Iron. I've been far too much glass by the way, you may have noticed. And let's... Let's have a nice 32. What the hell am I doing? Um, don't make iron blocks like that. Dick nuts. I guess I'm having 14 blocks of that then. Uh, I want 16 blocks, makes more sense. Whee! Uh, cat count. 
16 box of iron, wonderful, it will do for me. Now you want to make sure you burn this somewhere that can't set fire to things around it. So I think this quartz will be pretty safe. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that ain't going to work, is it? The middle one's not opened. Let's uh, So iron blocks, set fire to them with a rough igniter. And they'll turn into dark iron. Hopefully not set my house on fire. Um, there is a world, episode, world download coming after this episode. It will have been available from yesterday though, from when you're watching this. Because of course I'm recording this Friday morning. So as soon as I finish this episode, I'm going to put the world... I'm going to save the world as it is at the end of this episode. And uh, make it available for download. Put the fires out. Oh yeah, you've got to be careful, say if I'd have done that on smooth stone, um, not smooth stone, on certain items that can be cut, it would have changed them. Look at that, that's cheeky, isn't it? That can spawn mobs on there. I forgot to turn this off again. So now we've got dark iron blocks, which are also a very nice building block, really dark, likely, but um, I've seen them used nice, I think, what was it? It was uh, someone on Minecraft used them, quite nice effect. Blocks of dark iron, put them in there. We've got 64 dark iron ingots. They actually want to add into the ingot storage, so I'm going to put that in there again. Again, shift click adds it, format it. Wonderful. And that can go back. And now we can make some routers. Hooray! Uh, well, I'm going to make some. Oops, what am I doing? Get out, idiot. Ah! That's the wrong thing. Um, I like some routers. First, I'm gonna make some raft lamps. So I just want uh, how many do I want? In fact, let's put that in there. And let's just make them in here. Kind of getting used to this now a bit. Uh, how many do I want? I want one for this floor. I'm hoping one raft lamp will light this full room. Let's have a look. Let's make one and see. So right in the centre of the room. the centre. Now let's get rid of all these lights and see if that's giving me full coverage. That's what I'm hoping for. Press F7 and uh, I can see some patch out there and this full room is lit. Nice. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted this full room to be lit. Um, I want one for the One for this thing around here. This, uh, what do you call this room? Mining room, I guess. One in the middle of that. Now, these might still be too far out. Yeah, they are, look. So, I still need lights around the, corner, around the edges here, which is a bit of a shame. Eh, uh, never mind. I suppose I could put four raft lamps, but I still like the, uh, I still like the looks of facets a lot, I just uh, don't want to use them too much, you know what I mean? I might have to put them there instead. Looks a bit better up there, I think. I might not actually use one in here. Because the floor's all force brick, nothing can spawn on the floor anyway. Uh, I think I'll actually I'll be better off just moving them up to the top instead. Looks a bit better. Um, so yeah, there's ref lamps. Weird. Mm. Uh, I will sort out my lighting eventually everywhere but uh, for now yeah I don't, I don't think I need that so I'm going to take that back these are notoriously difficult to break god damn it break fool um, after yesterday's episode I built a house but I didn't like it so I knocked it down again um, I did a search on google for Japanese house designs like pagoda style houses and the best one I could find was actually a Minecraft picture of a house it was really nice so I've, I'm debating whether to do it but it would be a pretty much straight copy of someone else's design and I'll try and make it my own a little bit but oh, I can't really do that one flying can I Christ let's do it from down here instead um notoriously difficult to break factorization stuff uh, there we go where's it gone Cool. 
So yeah, I don't actually need that in there. I've still got F7 pressing. There's nothing that um, dark lit in here, so... Let's sort that out while I'm here. So everything in here, of course there's lights on top of them as well. So nothing can spawn up there. It is working very nice. Thank you for people who pointed out that these two engines weren't working, weren't turned on the other day. Um, I did notice about an hour after, an hour, maybe two hours after. I'll just, just sort that out, I'll just turn that off and then back on again. The old uh, computer trick, turn it off and on again. That got them working. So yeah, I'm quite happy with this. Um, I kind of like the way it looks as well. It's not finished the door yet, of course, so, but a little better when the door's done. So, raft lamps, wonderful. Uh, should I use them in here? Probably should. Because I've got, yeah, definitely should in here, so. Let's get, ooh, I didn't finish that wall, that floor, I mean. Ceiling, that's, that's the word I'm looking for. Let's say, uh, so, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's sort that out. Ouch. And now I can put a rough lamp in here, and hopefully the rough lamp will light this full area as well. feel like the middle, that's the middle isn't it? I thought that was a bat then, just create the angle. So let's see if this lights everywhere. Look, it seems to be, I think. Cool, full coverage. Uh, have I got... I'll tell you what, I'll do that instead of turn it on. Uh, yeah, we've got full coverage in here from one rough lamp, that's nice. Happy with that, and I'll probably do the same up top here. So, um, I'm going to break camera a sec. I'm going to get some bits ready to make some routers. And we've got, we haven't actually got anything to use the routers on yet, but I just want to get them made. Um, so I'll get them, I'll get the bits ready I need for them. Uh, I think I need to make sure I've got enough ender pearls. I might have to go kill some ender pearls. Moo. Uh, right, back in a bit. Okay then, I'm back. I'm not quite ready to do the routers yet because I've been doing some prep work. I've changed the upstairs of this into an actual second floor of the workshop rather than it's like kind of like a bedroom place that it was. Uh, as it's night time, I'll go to sleep. I've made a little... Ah, oh, I'll, I'll put them there too as well to show you. Um, I've made a little house over here. I've also been to spawn. If you do download the world, I say you might have downloaded it already yesterday, but if uh, you go to spawn, you see I made a little thing here with um, some glowstone emerald block on a lectern, a little book back to 
my base so you can get to the base nice and quick even though it's only over there so there we go uh, I made a little house here where Josh is sat uh, got a writing desk and a sink some lovely oak cases yeah, it's in this little little temporary house until I build something bigger so we can sleep in that and uh, yeah if we head back over here oops get stuck on the wall um, yeah, I made them. That's kind of what I've been doing with them. And that was a couple of hours ago, so I've probably got loads more in here that I could add on. So uh, it's really coming nice and quick now, this stuff. That's the way I've been manually manning this. I've been putting it up into big stacks. I, I think at some point I will have to just uh, give up and... Give up and... Um, do it so I only get one off each, you know, pulverize it all. I guess pulverizing does for most of this. I have to actually check that everything's got a way of doing it, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, it's been going on. You can see it's. I'm getting all the XP off this as well, so it's really quite a good XP grinder as well, having the laser drill. If you prefer to do all this manually, that is. Um, I finally got... I'm full. Hmm. I finally got a good enchant on um, my wonder of excavation. There it is. Potency charging and treasure. So that actually for this it doesn't work quite so well. Um, sorry. But when I'm in a hollow hill and you've got things at range, that's going to work really nice. Uh, it only does one at a time, but it's got quite a range on it. Possibly not that good. Um, let's kind of see what kind of range we've got here. We've got so quite a good range on it, and it's of course it's got treasure three, which is the same as uh, fortune three, so that's good. And uh, that got me two diamonds that time there. Look, so yeah, uh, I'll do the rest of this off camera. I just want to kind of show you how, how much resource I'm getting. It's pretty ridiculous, isn't it? Bit ridiculous. Uh, I might as well tip myself up to 30 levels, and I and uh, we'll have a quick enchant or something before I carry on. Do, 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 do. Yeah, let's get rid of all this redstone. There we go. So uh, I'll do the rest of that off camera. All that, of course, gives XP. So a lot of XP there. Get rid of you. And as you can see there, I've made five pulverizers, five powered furnaces. I've uh, done them off camera. It's all pretty straightforward. I did it using the technique here by first making them and so on. Uh, so that's nice and easy, nice and quick. Let's get rid of all that redstone over there. Come on. Double click's a bit weird into the uh, ME network. Sometimes it works, other times it doesn't seem to want to work for me. That's it. Uh, shift double click. That last one worked, see it? Weird. Uh, but I was shift double clicking every time then, and it didn't seem to want to work. Me, screw it. Um, so yeah, I went. I went to the end, as you saw. Got some ender pearls. So we're gonna make some routers in just a minute. I've got some ME cable, and as you can see there, I'm just gonna connect that to the back of there. So now this ME cable's connected up to there, and I've made myself a nice amount of covers, just so I can keep all this tidy. Because ME cable does, of course, cover. So very nice. So we can keep everything looking tidy and hidden. Mm. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's add that as well. So if I pop upstairs, then the plan here is to have five pulverizers, uh, ten pulverizers, sorry. Oh, I've done it wrong, and I? I thought I'd been ten of each. Um, one, two, three, four. Five, and I can double that up to ten at some point and then one two three four five of them as well hmm should I uh... tell you what back in a minute I'm gonna make, I'm screw it I'm gonna make ten so it looks right back in a bit okay then so back again uh, I've just been messing around a bit I scrubbed do you remember these are fire protection four on I scrubbed the enchants off so I ended up with um 
a haste book, a repair book, and a fire protection book. And I enchanted them, and I, that's what I got off the, straight off the enchant. So I got a really nice set of enchants on that. So I've just enchanted the goggles with the 30 levels that I had, and I got the protection and the aqua affinity. So I've used the repair that I pulled off the boots and put that on there as well. So ideally, if I can get feather falling on them, they're the perfect boots. If I can get respiration on that, that's the perfect goggles. So um, I'm going to try and get them in book form once I start creating... Um, creating more essence with more gusto the thing's working very well with the conveyors i put some more in by the way just so you know right so let's get on with this then because uh, the episode's going to start running long soon if i don't crack on i just decided to have five each for now so there they go five each of them so let's make some routers now for the routers let's uh let's see what do we need we need eyes of ender so i'm gonna make four routers so let's make four of them one two three four and then four routers, one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to want some upgrades for these. So I'm going to want, we don't need item or machine. Speed, I'm not 100% sure on, but I'm going to make it. Um, so I need, I've got some cake. There we go. And uh, I need eight sugar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, do I need one? F mm, I maybe need speed for all of them. Uh, I, I, I'm never really sure what the speed one does. It says save machines quicker, so I don't think it just puts if it's just one that's put it in. I'm not sure. Um, but well, I've screwed it a minute now, and I, I bet so see how it goes. So thoroughness. Um, I want thoroughness on all of them. Oops, thoroughness. What? Got no. Ah, it's in there still. Okay. My sauce on still in there. Let's uh, chuck that in there. So, throwing us upgrade. Um, what throwing us does is it finishes saving one machine before it goes to the next. So, you, sh you should get stacks in at a time into one machine. So, I just need two of them as far as I know for the input ones. So, I don't need the output ones of them. So, two of them. And then bandwidth lets it move stacks at a time. I don't want four of them. And I've got no more blaze powder. Uh, one, two. Should give me enough, should it? Uh, three. Fuck it, four. Let's quickly make that into blaze powder. Thank you. So one, two, oh, three, four, cool. <laughs> and I've run out of um, oh, that's a shame. Um, I've run out of dark iron, so I need eight dark iron. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighteen of them. Gonna make a quick couple of blocks. Oops, shit. And my thing's in here, I believe. Is it in here? Yes, there it is. Wonderful. Uh, put these next to each other. So I only have to light it once. And yeah, we're going to need two of these auto ejectors. So they need pistons. So let's make two pistons while we're waiting. One, two. And um, pressure plates. One, two. Now the fire should go out pretty soon. Ouch. Seems to be burning. Um, not to worry. So, oh, I've not made them ones yet, have I? What am I doing? Ah, oh, so I still haven't got enough. Uh, oh, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. But, me being an idiot, I think, is what I have to watch for. <laughs> so, uh, I need to make more of them. Well, we'll leave this, we'll leave the... The speed ones off and now speed boost. I'll see if we need them or not. I might not need them. Um, like I say, I'm not always. I've never actually been 100% sure what that one does. So two of them. So that should do us. So now what we can do? If we jump back up here, what we're going to want is one router here, one here, one here, and one here. And the way I've set these up is I've got input from the bottom, output from the back. Because you don't want input output on the same side, and I want to keep the sides tidy. So I've used bottom and back for all of them. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to insert into um, oops, into the bottom sides. You can also use that slot number, which is quite cool. Um, where's that gone? Into slot zero. Blah blah blah. But um, should I do it into slot zero? I'll insert into bottom. Insert. Oops. Extracts. Insert into bottom, and then I'm going to put the bandwidth onto that. So shift click with a bandwidth onto each of these. So, <coughs> excuse me, bandwidth and then thoroughness on the two input ones. <coughs> Sorry about that. My uh, voice decided to screw up. Ejectors on those two. What am I doing? I don't need the ejector at all. Um, don't need the ejector. I'm taking that back out. I didn't I didn't need to make them. More depths. Delete. So I've taken the ejector one back out. I've, I didn't need to make that at all. I could have had to make the speed ones. Um, so that's going to be insert into bottom sides. And thoroughness always finish saving machines. And bandwidth move stacks at a time. So that's all good. And these want to be extracts from um, south sides which is the back so I think it's actually gonna be the north you wanna put on this it's weird it's kinda backwards so it's mm, that's <clears throat> don't really make sense ah, hang on I have to clear my throat a bit sorry okay I should be okay now sorry about that Um, so even though it's if we're looking at the back of the machine, it's a south, it'd be, if it was touching, it'd be the north of this, so I think we actually want to extract from north. Makes, don't make a lot of sense, does it? But just trust me on that, I think, for now. Insert into bottom, extract from north, and that should sort things out. So let's quickly test that, and then what we can do is we can make some, um, quickly make some ME stuff to actually sort that out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some nether core ore and some tin ore just as an example. And what we should see with the ore here is that should have put it into one of the machines and it's moved the full stacking which is good. And then it should drop into there. So it's coming out the back so that's great. So it's 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 pulled out the right slot. So it's pulling from the north side so that is correct even though it doesn't make sense. It's because it's the actual south side of the machine. If you're looking at it right, meh, weird, but that works. And then let's try it with the coal as well. So the, what the coal should do is coal should go into the furnace. And that should make that into coal blocks, which again should end up in there. Excellent. So I'd say I don't know. If, I don't know if I think we need the speed boost thing. But what I need to do now is connect it to the ME network. That's the next step. So for that, let's jump down here again. And we're going to want buses. Now, because a bus can only put eight things in, I'm going to make two export buses for each of these. And we're going to want precision export buses. So we're going to want four basic export buses. So that's the basic export buses. So we've got a little bit of crafting to do here. So, um, basic export bus, where are you? Basic export bus. So pistons, we're going to need four, we're going to need, no we're not, one, two, three, four, yeah, we're going to need six of these in total. So let's make six pistons, have six, and then these ME interfaces, we're going to need some of these, so conversion matrix, so make six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, hopefully we've got enough for everything here, uh, otherwise might be slightly not embarrassing but you know and then um I mean interfaces we should have the bits to make them now one two three four five six wonderful uh, I use that sticky piston up just give me a bit of space I've put that in there so now basic export bus four of them one two three four and they can go back in 
We want them to be precision export buses because we want them to be able to move more than one at a time. So we want all of them to be one, two, three, four, four of them, and then we want basic import buses. Now these fine being basic, so we're going to need another one of them sticky pistons. In fact, no, I met these. I met these advanced as well. So let's make one more sticky piston. Uh, hmm, what do we use normal slam or anything there? But off that, let's slam ball should work for that. It does. So basic import bus. Put things back into the system. Oops, clicked the wrong thing. Shift click. Two of them, and then I want them to be precision import buses. So shift click, and two of them. So that's all our buses that we need. Wonderful, and. Let's take a few items here, just uh, mm -hmm. let's start with that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the rest, I'll keep one and put the rest in here, Oops. just to start setting things up, up there. So the first thing we want to do is we want to put one of these export buses onto the bottom of this and it's probably is, it, is that face the right way that's nice of it it's face the right way for us wonderful so what we're going to do here is so any of these items so i'm going to have eventually copper tin iron oops, gold let me just click that always active um silver lead ferrous is what's going to go in there. So that should start bringing things in, and it has, as you can see, wonderful. And then what we're going to want is a precision import bus on there. So that should connect into that, and that should put things back into the system. So what that's doing is, what we want this to do is move stacks. That should keep that emptied. So when we go back to our system down there, we should see them ores that I put in should have vanished and what I'm going to do for here is grey facade there and I'm going to put a second export bus on the routers so that we can have 16 different items types going in there that's if that's a point of having two um, two export buses to each import bus so that's connected yet I want to cover that up like so and then we want the other export bus there oops shift click to make it place and then under here we want the other import bus like so and that wants to be move stacks in fact these all want to be move stacks so I should have done that move stacks move stacks and uh, move stacks and one under there as well. Move stacks, wonderful. I think we're getting there with our first bit of automation. So if we look down in here now, let's tidy that up. Not very nice and tidy up here. We could always cover that as well with facades if we wanted to, but I don't mind the odd bit showing. Um, what we should have in here is no ores. So the ores have all gone, wonderful. And what we've got, so if they go in there, they should vanish. And we've got pulverized stuff, which is right, which then we're going to feed this into the furnaces. So let's get all our ores here. What we've got? Iron, lead, tin, copper. Copper's the only one that we didn't have. Oh, tin and copper. Great. So let's get tin and copper on. And I'm going to wrap up pretty soon because the fourth test of the cricket's just started. And I'm going to go sit in the pub and watch it. It's uh, just gone 12 o'clock dinner time. I'm going to go sit in the pub, watch it for an hour before the um, break for lunch. Copper, tin, and uh, lead. There we go. Copper, tin, lead. So that's that one pretty much full. And then I can have all kind of other stuff like forsythium or blaze. Nah, I don't blaze rods. But, um, I want, I'll do that in a separate one. And then in this one, what we want to do, we're going to go get all them pulverized bits out of here. So 
Them ores can all go in there. So pulverize bits. Oh, we've got extra there. We haven't got shiny metals, haven't we? So I want one of each of these. Have we got any copper yet? Copper. Uh, tin. Oops, let's get one. Copper, tin. Iron. Gold. Silver. Lead. Ferrous metal. And shiny metal. We seem to be getting as an extra from somewhere. Which is nice. Place. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think that's everything I've got to now. So we can do exactly the same uh, here. So I want copper, tin. Do these shift click place? They do. Wonderful. Uh, I want it in the right order because I'm anal. Silver, lead. I always put ores in the same order so I know what I'm doing with them. And then we've got a couple of extra ones there. We've got ferrous and shiny. We've got one extra one shiny. Cover that up. As you can see by the front of the machine, that's working away. There's things in there. There's all the ingots coming out and getting sent back into the chest downstairs. So there we've got our first bit of automated processing done. It's all very tidy and hidden out of the way. And we've got no ores or... No, we won't have any dust left. We'll get rid of these anyway. Let's get rid of them. Yeah, you can go in there. Them extra ejectors that we don't need can go in there. I think we're kind of tidy. So we've got no dusts. Oh, we have got dusts. So they should be vanishing any time now. Why are you not vanishing? Eh? Hmm. Why are they vanishing? Because this is busy, possibly. It's got something stuck in it. That's probably it. It's probably because that's got something stuck. I had nowhere to go. Of course, that's because I threw a, threw a lot of things in all at once. Yeah, they've, they've nearly all gone now. Look, there's that shiny metal left. So that'll be putting the things into their proper place. And next up, we can connect this so it goes straight into the ME network and it'll start processing all these ores and stuff. So all the all these ones that are nether ores need to go into this side first, into the furnace side first. So we can use this one for that. So uh, iron, gold, emerald, diamond, lapis, Redstone, and must have been coal somewhere that I think I've missed or used up. That'll start sending them in. And we've almost, got, well, we've got a lot of it, I guess. Semi automated. Um, it's just all this stuff that's like the stuff outside that I need to be manually breaking for the time being. That, um, well, gold glowstone can go in the pulverizer. It. Yeah, wonderful. So if we throw all that in there. That should all magically vanish and turn into actual ore blocks. And I'm just going to use that bit of glowstone in this last slot here in the pulverizer. That should send, make any glo glowstone blocks into glowstone dust. So that can go in there as well now. And. For now, the rest of that stuff's going to have to stay in its ore form. So we can sling all this in here and... There we go. We're automated to an extent. Um, next episode, I'll get this connected up to that. But for now, I'm going to wrap up. I'm going to go watch the cricket. Um, I'm going to put the world up for download as well as soon as I log off. So you'll be able to log in to exactly where the world is at this stage now. So, um... I uh, hope, as always, the episode was enjoyable and uh, maybe a bit informative. I've got a little, tidy little system started up there. We're going to expand that, of course, have auto-craft and all kind of stuff. But for now, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching and I'm going to say cheers and bye. Cheers. Bye.